this is my last video on this topic because I know you ain't shading me. I know you're not. But I'm glad you said this, okay? A lot of women think that they're going to be the one who's so different from other women's horror stories. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we all have choices. And Chevelle, I'm going to make mine, okay? I'm seeing women not make choices for themselves. They're letting men suggest, manipulate them into things that they don't even really want to do like that. They wanted to go and finish school. And the man said to them, nah, you should stay home. They wanted to start that business. And the man says, what you need extra money for? I pay everything. Anytime you need something, baby, you know you could ask me. They maybe probably only wanted a couple kids. And he's saying he want three more to keep you in the house barefoot and pregnant. And because he wants a big family, okay, I'll do it. Even though your body tired and you really almost lost yourself recovering from that last pregnancy. So I want to be very clear that I don't think that I'm an exception to a rule just to find out that I'm not. I know I'm not an exception. These men will take everything you got to give if you let them. So, I'm simply saying, use your brain and make choices that benefit you. Because everything that I just said here in this, a lot of times the women are not the ones benefiting from these decisions that these husbands are making. These suggestions they're imposing on them. It benefits the man socially to have the wife and the kids and the family and the picture perfect life. That don't benefit her to be dragged down. It benefits her to track her cycle and put that coochie on ice during the fertile week so she don't pop up pregnant unexpectedly. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm no exception to the rules of biology and man mind trickery. Okay, a man that came my life and told me a lie or three. But what he didn't do was get me pregnant. And I'm not mad at that either because I feel like every child born is a child meant to be born and they're here for a purpose and a reason. I don't feel like any child exists was a mistake or oops baby or any of that. I will never believe that. But the same way that's in somebody else's divine plan unexpectedly getting pregnant because i track everything that i do and i don't play about me it's not in my divine plan love it's just not but god loves you and i do too